Hello everyone, it's me, Maya, and welcome to my channel. Today, you have probably noticed the new setup background, and that's because I'm going to be doing a challenge today. I'm going to be doing the book scavenger hunt, but of course, and you know me, I have to do a little bitty challenge with it. So, to, so I have a list of books that I need to find on my bookshelf, and there are going to be like, find a book with the male protagonist, and find a book with yellow in the cover, and I'm going to give myself five minutes to find as many books on this list as I can. So I think there are 19 books that I can find. Let's, hopefully I can find all of them. So I'm going to put five minutes on the clock, and we're going to let it go right now. First one is find a book with a male protagonist. I think I've already started thought of this one. Uh, Tempest by Julie Cross. Cross. I hope you can see that. Next is book with only words on it. Uh, I count. Uh, uh, I don't know. I don't think I can find it. Stuff on my shelves, guys. Uh, I don't know. Uh, pass. And I'm gonna flip the list over so I don't see it before it goes. Next book. Find a book with stars on it. Oh my goodness. See? This one. Uh, Kathy's book. By it doesn't say. <laughs> so you see the stars? Uh, find a hardcover book without a jacket. Uh, does this count? Meant to be by Lauren Morrill. I think that counts. <laughs> Author's name or title with the letter Z. The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak. Um, a book with a key on it. Uh, what is this? Sarah, De <laughs> Sarah Destin's Lock and Key. And there's the key. How much time do I have? Three minutes? Find a teal turquoise colored book. Do I even know my colors? Does that count? Is that teal? Cinderella Screwed Me Over by Cindy Maxson. Something on your bookshelf that's not a book. Praying hands. Two, min two and a half minutes left. No, two minutes and 45 seconds left. Oldest book on your shelf. I'm pretty sure it's this one. I don't even know how old it is. Helen Riley's Murder at Arrowways. It is like the oldest book. Of oldest books that I've owned would probably be the Peter and the Starcatcher series, but that's not what they asked. It's very vague. Book with illustrations in it. Uh. Uh, As You Like It by uh, Manga Shakespeare by William Shakespeare and illustrated by Chia Kutsuwada. Illustrations. Find a book that has an animal in it. Uh, book, animals, animals. Oh! Uh, Until the End of Time by Daniel Spiller. It has horses in it. Uh, find a book with gold lettering. Does that count? The Paradox of Vert Vertical Flight by Emil Ostrowski. That's gold. Yellow. That counts. Uh, find a diary, true or fictional. Uh, Catherine Called Birdie by Karen Cushman. Yeah, I gotta get at this. Find a book on your shelf that takes place in the earliest time period. Um, I don't know my books well enough to know what time period they're in. Pass. One minute. Find a book by someone with a common name. Common name. Come on, guys. 
No, I'm not. No, my book's not well. <laughs> Is Edward still commenting? Oh, come on. Pass. Find a book that has a close-up of something on it. Does this count? Uh, Boomerang by Noel August. That's close up of bodies. That's got. That's gotta count. A classic. Pass. Find a non-YA book. Witch by Dolan Perkins Valdez. That's to ah, that totally counts. Uh, uh, book with a girl on the cover. Tumble and Fall by Alexandra Counts. There's a girl. How much time? <laughs> Whoa. I got a, I got through more than I thought. Here's what we're going to do. The ones that I passed on, you all can list a book in the comment section below of what a book on your shelf that goes by these parameters. So the four books that you need to find are find a classic, find a book on your shelf that takes place in the earliest time period, find a book with only words on it, and find a book written by someone with a common name like this. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, I hope you have enjoyed the challenge, and I definitely, I'll put a list of all the parameters below, so if you want to do a video response to this, you can, and I hope you have enjoyed this video. I shall see you next time, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye!